Hello, divine creations, divine marvels, children of God. Thank you so much for dropping by this video. Um, this is a little bit of a follow-up video. Uh, someone wrote me on Quora sharing that they having negative and blasphemous thoughts. And uh, that inspired me doing an entire uh, gathering based on, uh, based on dealing with negative thoughts. And now the person has replied, duh, 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 duh. I try to do what's right, but I am in my thoughts. Let's see. Duh, duh, duh. I try to do what's right, but I am in my thoughts. And it's so hard to be perfect. Uh, oh, but, excuse me, but I sin in my thoughts. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, that's a funny slip I just made. And actually, I think that's going to uh, be very insightful. So. Um, welcome, Erect Electroscaler, uh, and da 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 da. So, sinning. Let's actually before I get to any of these specific issues, I want to talk about a really fascinating issue, which is how to approach the teachings of Christ, and ultimately, it's about how to approach truth or the truth. Now, the thing is, there's a lot of people with a lot of opinions on this planet. And some of those opinions are, what I believe is not an opinion, what I believe is a fact. Or, what I believe is not an opinion, it's the truth of God revealed. Many people make that claim about what they believe. That actually it's not a belief, it's a fact. And... Um, but so if we take a step back, what we can notice is that, well, actually, that's just that person saying that. And that's actually just one more opinion. What ultimately matters is that from inside of ourselves, we say yes or no to something. We say yes to, well, actually, I, I think that person is right. Or we say no to, well, actually, that doesn't feel quite right to me. Or we say yes to their claim that what they're sharing is the divine, uh, is a divine revelation or truth. <clears throat> now, this is nowhere more apparent than in the teachings of Christ. To date, there's something like 13,000 different denominations. And most of those denominations can be divided into maybe most of them into maybe six or seven major um, theological schools. Um, but regardless, the fact that there's 13 different, that means there's, and that's of course just each different denomination. And of course, each person is going to have their own flavor on it. So there's there's been some disagreement throughout history about what Christ taught. How to resolve this? Well, I don't know that we can resolve it externally, but we can resolve it internally. We can make a decision that we're going to look at each thing and, and look within ourselves and ask that mm, voice within, I would argue, the place inside of us where God lives for a yes or a no, what's true or what's not true um, for everything. And of course, it starts with one thing, and then we build from there. So that, so that's part of how I have uh, felt forced to approach everything, not just the teachings of Christ, but more so for myself. What I've come to is, I take as my foundations the teachings of Bruno Gruning, and the reason why I do that when looking at the teachings of Christ. And the reason why I do that is because Bruno was more like Christ than any other person in history I've heard of. He embodied and lived the teachings of Christ uh, and just the sheer, much less the sheer number of healings that happened around him. So that's become my new, you know, if someone says something like the Bible says, duh, 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 I don't necessarily ask it outwardly, but inwardly I ask, well, how much are they like Christ? And th that's just a starting point for how much, how much weight 
I'm going to give them and how much of my time, energy, and attention am I going to give to them? That's something that's become, that's kind of become my uh, uh, set of standards for, uh, you know, there's so two things. One is I listen inside myself, but I also, um, I have very high standards for, for taking someone's opinion seriously. I'll, if I have time, I'll listen to anyone's opinion. But if I'm going to take them seriously, they, they have to be kind of, uh, if I'm going to take them really, really seriously, they have to remind me of Jesus. They have to be Christ-like. And of course, that and, that, and then, but even that's not enough. You know, Bruno Gruning didn't ask people to believe him just because he said something. He wanted people to look inside and find for themselves. So I say all this because studying Bruno's teachings has then helped me then approach the written record of what we have, um, uh, approaching the Bible. It's been, you know, I studied the Bible for many, 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 many years, and I just couldn't make heads or tails of most of it. And now I feel like I have a very solid foundation in, in what's the essence, being connected to God, having faith in God, trusting in God, observing my thoughts. So I offer that to anyone. Um, when trying to approach the teachings of Christ, is be careful who you, who you give weight to. Now, this particular person who wrote to me, what happened is they had a spiritual experience and then they read something about the unpardonable sin, which I've talked about before. And um, it's a very intense subject, the idea that there's something we can do that, um, that God would not be willing or able to forgive us for. And, uh, and so for very deep and intense topics, I'm very careful who I listen to, who I give weight to. And um, so I invite others to that. So uh, I'm going to just end here with that will be the first part of, of my response. And uh, I hope it's helpful. And actually, let's take a minute and Tune in to the divine. Every human being is on the quest for the truth and for a way of life that works. So even if we disagree with someone else, hopefully we can see that we're all seeking the same thing, the truth and the, the good life, a life that's harmonious and works. So I celebrate this person who's reaching out and who's in sort of intense circumstances right now. And um, they're seeking what's true and they're seeking answers and solutions. And for me, that's a very holy, it's a very holy endeavor. One of my spiritual heroes uh, from the Hindu tradition, a man named Ramana Maharshi said, um, the self, which is in, in the Hindu traditions, it's self with a capital S. It's very different from what we think of as self. It's another name for God, actually. He said, the self is like a hidden magnet gradually drawing us to itself. And that's my view of God. That God is like a hidden magnet drawing all of us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, towards God. And so I salute this person who's um, seeking answers and seeking the truth. And let's, let's also remind ourselves that the truth is seeking us and drawing us towards it. Thank you so much for dropping by. Take care. Big love.